good morning. It's 5.11 right now, 5.11 a.m. This week, every morning, I'm gonna try, set myself an hour every morning to write an English essay. It sounds awful, but English is literally my weakest subject. You always hear people just say the only way to get better is it through practice. So up until my English lit exam, because it's one of my first ones, I'm just gonna be writing responses to questions. And hopefully over the next, you know, eight days, nine days, I will become a semi-English person. Okay, I just finished doing the English essay. I also just did other English in general and it's now 7.15. Also during my English, I grew a little kiwi fruit on my flora. I'm gonna take a quick break and just go on my phone. But yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm also gonna make a to-do list for today. Love making myself a to-do list. Also look how cute these pajamas are. The shorts are from Subdued and I think this top is from Accessorize. And of course, the Dino slippers. I just wanted to mention quickly that I've been using the like, say, I forgot what it's called. I'll put it on the screen. This basically, and it's been making my skin literally glow. Like I've had so many compliments on my skin since I started using this and it's just looked so good. Today I'm planning to go to a coffee shop to get some revision done. I honestly just don't like revising in my room that much. And like, if I can, I will always go to a coffee shop or a library. Today I'm really trying to have a productive day. I literally have eight days till my GCSE start. So I'm on the revision grind at the moment. I honestly just want to start the GCSE so I can get them over and done with. But yeah, I'm gonna quickly get ready and just do my makeup a bit so I look a bit less tired. My mum is currently at tennis right now and she's coming back in like an hour's time to take me to the coffee shop because it's like a 10 minute drive. So for the next like hour, hour and a half, I'm gonna do some biology questions and then I'm gonna get ready and leave. I love a good old stationery shop. Even if I already have it and it's like unnecessary, I love getting new stationery. So just a little haul of what I bought. I didn't buy like cute aesthetic stationery, but I just got some like major things that I need for my exams to make sure I'm like prepared and I'm not stressing the night before. But a clear pencil case, because we have to have a clear pencil case for the exams. I got a whole new like Oxford Maths set because I, I have one of these, but it's probably broken or like lost somewhere. I also got a whole new pack of my favorite pens that I like to write with. These are just like basic ball points, but they're really comfy. Same with pencils, just like basic pencils, but so that I have plenty um, because you, you don't want to be during the exam and like your pen runs out of ink and you're having to stress like asking the invigilator for a pen like it's just better going in there with like two to three working pens that you know will be fine i also just got a sharpener some colored pens because when i do exams i like to like draw around parts of the question and label it with different colors finally some folder dividers is that what they're called folder dividers subject dividers i use these when i like separate my notes at home and i was running out Honestly, my biggest top tip for people who procrastinate or also for people that find it hard to concentrate is to revise either in a coffee shop or a library. When I'm revising at home and I'm not in the right headspace, it's so easy for me to just take breaks. Like I'll go downstairs, wander around the kitchen, open some cupboards, come back upstairs and just not be very productive. But being at a coffee shop is so motivating because I just get so much more work done and there's not much else to do at a coffee shop other than revise. So as long as you turn your phone off, you will be productive. 
Okay, I've just finished the final two topics in paper one, which means that I'm completely done for topics in physics one content wise. I'm gonna go grab some food and then I'm gonna go on to maths because I kind of neglected maths revision for the first solid part of GCSEs because I'm more of a mathsy person and I don't normally revise it that much. And then I realized that I probably should revise some of the more difficult topics before the exam. So we're just gonna do some like practice questions and just familiarization with question type questions. So it is 3 o'clock, 3 15. Just come to the gym because it's like two minutes away from where I was studying. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to hit today. Um, the weather is good, which is making me want to do cardio and abs. <laughs> I also really want to be able to do like a nice pull up. I might do a little bit of back, we'll see. But yeah. I made myself my daily matcha. It's so beautiful, and the weather is so good. I love having ice drinks when it's like actually hot. It's just so much nicer. Tonight is my brother's last night before he goes traveling. So it's his last night tonight and we're going to my dad's later for some dinner, you know, give him a little send off. I actually haven't bought him like a leaving present, which I feel like is really bad. My dad wants us around at like seven-ish. So I'm gonna try do an hour of bio. Now this is even like a week for my GCSEs. I'm just focusing on the papers before half term because we have like a week's break in between the four weeks of exams. So I'm gonna make sure I've also finished all of biology paper content. I'm pretty sure I have actually to recap the genetics topic. going on a little evening walk in a minute she goes on a walk like literally most nights after dinner and i normally won't go with her but the weather was so nice today so i feel like it might be a nice evening my grandparents are also around for the weekend so it'll be nice to spend a bit of time with them because i've been like in my room revising most of the time moving around which i feel bad about but i'm gonna chuck on a hoodie because it is a bit colder than it was earlier honey you go need I've been using the Paula's Choice Exfoliant like once or twice a week for the past four weeks now. And sometimes I switch up with this like glycolic toner. I don't do it every night because apparently that like strips the oils from your face too much. I don't know, I heard it somewhere. So I normally like every other night I'll switch up between them. And then every night I use niacinamide. Let me And then finally, I should moisturize with CeraVe. I'm actually gonna look for a new moisturizer. I'm a bit bored of this one, I can't lie. I've had this for like years now. You say yes to me. Send me down, shut me up. Looks like you need. 